Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our beloved Fokker Wolf 190 Dora and today we're going to look at firing rockets and bombs. So rockets, first of all, if we go to the arming screen, we've got two types of rocket style. Um, we've got uh, these pods. Well, they're not really pods, are they? They're kind of racks. I've got them Yeah, mine. so those are the R4Ms. They're 55mm air-to-air -air rockets. Uh, they have a contact fuse and have about a half a kilogram warhead uh, with hexogen. Uh, you get 26 of them, so 13 under each ring, and they do fire in pairs. Roger that. I've just accidentally fired one of mine off, hence I've got 12 uh, instead of 13 per side. Right, and then we've got the Werfa Granata 21. What's that? Yeah, so they're a lot larger. They are 210 millimeter uh, rockets. Uh, you only get two of them. They're also air to air, and they do have a time fuse. Roger, that's funny looking things. Yeah, they come with a roughly 10 kilogram warhead, uh, and they do fire one by one. So I'm guessing you sneak up behind a, a Halifax or a B-17 and pop one of those at it. Yeah, probably, you know, information and, you know, even if you miss, you might hit something up. Roger. Okay. Um, but we can be used to air to ground as well, which is what we're going to do. Um, okay, let's talk about the arming. So all we need to know is we need master arm on there. Obviously, all our fuses will be turned on from um, our ground start. We need our master arm on there. We need to arm the rockets here. Uh, that would normally be on Aus there. This, so we'll do that to Ein, and they are now armed. We will fire them with standby weapon release there. Anything else before we take off? Uh, yeah, your rockets, the small ones, can also be jettisoned, um, but for some reason the safety cover above that switch is not interactable unless you use a keybind. So that keybind is left shift K by default. Left shift K, so I've removed uh, it now, yeah. If you then just flick that uh, switch up, all your rockets should drop. Roger, well I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to put that away, but we'll, we'll, we'll know that you can drop that. And can you drop the racks? Uh, negative. I think you should be able to, but it doesn't seem to be implemented since the flugel lust grip actually is not interactable, and I could also not find a keybind. Roger. So we don't think we can drop the racks at the moment. Fine. Right, shall let's get to the runway and take off, shall we? Shall rolling. Right, so to aim, I'm going to turn my gyro off. You can use your gyro, but I don't particularly want it for a, a ground attack, so I'm going to turn that off there. I'm going to use my track IR to look through the aiming glass there, like so, and I can zoom in like that if I need to. And I'm just going to use the crosshair to um, fire. Presumably there's going to be rocket drop, so we're going to have to compensate for rocket drop, Charles. Yeah. Right, let's get rid of all our rockets on our first run. Let's see if we can take some of these mothers down. Your rockets don't have much, much splash there, so you can actually use them from a close as well. Roger. Cap Joy. Shows them up. Should have come down the link, but really, never mind. I'm going to start firing cool. now. Woohoo! Get some. All rockets out. Did we hear anything? <laughs> Mine went way over and actually found <laughs> surgical. Uh, surprise, there. surprise, we missed because we're absolutely rubbish at ground attack and basically shooting things. But that shows the rockets, so um, just remember the master arm there, remember the rocket's arm there, remember the button to fire. And that's it. Oh, and also remember you cannot fire rockets with bombs attached at the same time. We don't know if that's a bug or whether that's how the real plane works, but you cannot fire the rockets. Anything else on rocket style? Yeah, one little warning. Uh, the Afrikanaten rockets are angled upwards slightly, so that makes <laughs> them kind of hard to aim at ground targets. Weird. That is weird. Okay, so use these ones. Right, uh, we're going to uh, land now and go and grab some bombs. Stand by. Welcome back. We're now going to arm up some bombs. So to the arming screen. Um, we can only take bombs on the center rack. Is that right, Star? 
Yes. And we've got uh, basically four times SC fifties, fifty kilo bombs, a hundred pounds, or one times SC five hundred, which is five hundred kilos or a thousand pounds. So let's take the. I'm going to take the SC fifties because I want more. Uh, stand by. Take the nice ones to show it off. Roger, and these are just uh, 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 dumb dropped, obviously. Right, so we've got our bombs. I've got the SC-50. Stahl has got the massive nuclear bomb. It's not actually nuclear, it's just massive, the 500 kilo one. Um, so that's that. Now let's look at arming. So we're going to need our master arm on there. But yeah, all our fuses are here, down here, and down here will be turned on from our start. So there's that. Uh, so underneath the rocket arming, we've got the bomb arming. So um, we've got OUS for OFF. If we go to MV to the left, Sturz means dive bomb, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And Wagerrech means uh, basically uh, uh, bombing while uh, flying straight. And then horizontal, yeah. Horizontal, yes. Then we've got M on each of those selections, we've got MV and OV. And I can never pronounce it. Say it, Stahl. It's mit Verzögerung and ohne Verzögerung. So that means with and without delay. Mit Verzögerung and ohne Verzögerung. Okay, so with a delay or without a delay. And I want impact fuse. So I'm going to go Sturz for dive bomb and ohne Verzögerung for uh, uh, an instant impact. Anything else? Oh, I've got to show a same button as the rockets to fire, weapon release. Anything else before we head off, Stahl? Negative. Right, let's get to the runway and take off. Rolling. Right, um, any t particular technique of dropping these bombs on a dive star? Uh, not really, I mean it becomes easier to aim the steeper you come, but obviously there's also a higher chance of crashing. You can drop them at any attitude between 90 degrees down all the way to 30 degrees up. Um, obviously you do not want to drop them while pulling negative G's, otherwise you might crash into your own bombs. The manual also mentions that if you're coming down vertically, um, don't drop at more than 5 degrees uh, slip angle, otherwise you might also crash into your bombs or crash it through your road plates. Roger, uh, we, haven't noted, we haven't talked about the four uh, red lights above the uh, arming panel. Yeah, so there's... Um, those are basically just your bomb indicator lights. They show you that there's bombs on those doors. The moment you start dropping bombs, you'll see those lights go. Roger. Okay, you head in first and drop, Shal. I'll watch. Oh, we did blow something up with our rockets. Yeah, that was you, actually. Hey, supercap. Um, bomb away, Stahl. It's down. It's good! And you hadn't fused it. I did, it's with delay. I didn't want to die. It was right on the target as well, and it's just not going to blow up. Boom! You got him, Stahl! You got him! Beautiful. Very good. Right, now supercap's turn. Stand by. So, we've got all of Sugarong. We've got Master Arm on. Supercap. Turning in. So I'm going to come from um, DVA to the right, my heading, so that I can keep an eye on them. And then did you roll into a dive or did you um, kind of sl Yeah, I suppose you did. Yeah, I did. I'm going to watch them from my front quarter panel. Cap diving in, about 30 degrees. Prepare to get some order for Sugarung, here I come. Supercap is drop. How'd I do? How'd I do? Boom 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 boom! Super thumb! Good hit. Did I oh got him! <laughs> oh would you believe it? First go. Two times shack. That was really nice actually. That was good, right. Hey, I like this aeroplane. Everything just works well. Oh right, anyway, that was dive bombing uh, with instant delay and uh, with a Delay from Stahl. Anything you want else you want to add to the bomb, Stahl? Uh, no, I think that covers it all. Lovely. I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful. We'll see you later.